you're a foodie, you have to first appreciate eating food. Appreciate flavors, how foods taste. So picky eaters can almost never be foodies. Foodiness is a, a first and foremost is, is about appreciating how food tastes. I think food is not just about food. It's about getting together to eat, family circles, the communion. Eating is about contrast. Food is about contrast. Contrast in colors, con contrast in uh, texture, smells, flavors. You don't want boring, um, um, boring um, food. You want food to have um, ups and downs. So the best fancy food that we ate was not made by my mom. My mom cooked, but my dad, who had been a chef in his younger life, mid to late 20s, he was a cook and then a chef, and he was away weeks at a time. And then later on, he decided, he just hated being in the kitchen. Got out of that business and went into um, oil business. He said it was too hot and he didn't want to stand on his feet all day. But when he was off the island in Persian Gulf and came home for his leave, he um, continued cooking the best foods for us. A couple of years ago, I started this thing uh, labeling my food uh, under Cafe Bagheri, which is really sort of a way to brand my home cooking. And people ask me all the time if you have a restaurant. Restaurant needs a young man in his 20s or 30s to put in the initial 18 hour a day for several years, build it up, multiply the locations, and then retire rich. I started too late. I just want to uh, concentrate on the communication part of uh, culinary arts. I like anything by Alton Brown. Um, Marcus Samuelson has a new cookbook. Anthony Bourdain has a cookbook that in spite of his crazy travels and foreign eating, it's very down to earth American. What I do is, let's say you go in the doctor's office, you know, for your appointment and you're paging through and there's this like lobster bisque recipe or whatever. And you probably have, you can Google it. You, you have access to it, but you just look around, you then rip it out, fold it, put it in your pocket. Oh you put the magazine on the side table or whatever, after your appointment, you come out in the waiting room, you seek the magazine, pick it up, and you walk out.